This is a gearbox. In fact, it's the same gearbox I used to convert my car from five speed to six. But as you can see, it's not in my car anymore. In my video about converting my car from the five speed to the ZF6, I talked about what a pain it is to do this process, having to change ECUs, wiring harnesses, doing reprogramming and recoding to ensure that the gearbox and the ECU marry up and talk to each other properly. But this time, I didn't have to do any of that. I have a turbo gearbox in my car without having to do any reprogramming or recoding. Let me tell you how I did it so that you can do the same thing. I mentioned in my turbo build video that we were worried about breaking the NAZF. The fear was that somewhere between Townsville and Brisbane, it would start slipping and then break. Not long after I got back to Brisbane, it did in fact start to slip. This oil tells us part of that story all on its own. And although it's perfectly cooked and more delicious than ever, it's a bad sign for the gearbox's health and shows that it was definitely on its way to car part heaven. So I decided to get ahead of the problem and put a call out on social media to see if anybody had a turbo gearbox they were willing to sell. Luckily, there was. Now, truth be told, the NA and the turbo boxes are not really that different. The turbo and the NA both have the same input shaft, the same intermediary, the same output, the same pump gear inside it. It's, it's all pretty much exactly the same. The difference is that the turbo has more frictions, steels, clutch packs, whatever you want to call these. It has more of these for each gear, which allows for better engagement as it's shifting to each gear and avoids slipping. Now, to accommodate those, it has larger drums as well. And whilst the NA can have some machining done to allow for these clutches, it's a little bit easier to just start with already having the larger drums if you want to increase the number of clutches even further and further increase the gearbox's ability to properly lock up and engage each gear. The other key difference is the turbo also has a larger, better torque converter, but you can get that turbo torque converter and put it in an NA if you want to. You just have to keep in mind, you also won't have those clutches that the turbo gearbox does. So I now had my turbo gearbox with its larger torque converter and more clutch packs that would hopefully allow it to handle the power that my now turbocharged Falcon was making. But how did I get that box into the car and have it work without doing any kind of reprogramming or coding? You see, to do that, to do any kind of recoding would require wiping all of the tune, the tune on both the gearbox and on the ECU. And I really didn't want to do that because Sam had put a lot of work into getting that perfect when I was up in Townsville. That's where this guy comes in. This is the Megatronics from inside the ZF gearbox. This controls the pressures, the gear changes, communication with the ECU, and it's what carries the serial number, which has to match with the ECU. You can obviously see where I'm going with this. It turns out the NA and the turbo ones are completely interchangeable. All I had to do to make my new turbo gearbox match with my NA ECU was to pull out my NA Megatronics and put it inside my turbo gearbox. But to do that would have been pretty difficult on my own. As you saw earlier at the start of this video, gearboxes are pretty heavy and I didn't really feel like trying to do it inside my garage on my floor by myself. So I spoke to my friends at Real Dino who agreed to help me out. So I took the car over to Real Dino where they did all of the work for me and made sure everything was set up correctly and running well. As we can see, the process is pretty simple. First, the oil pan is removed and all the oil is drained out. And once the oil is removed, the bolts that are holding the mechatronics into the gearbox are removed. And once those bolts are out, it just needs a little gentle wiggle and it comes straight out. Then the Megatronics from my old gearbox goes back in. And while the gearbox was apart, it was time for a new oil filter. And some new oil goes into the gearbox at 30 degrees. And with that, the car now has a turbo gearbox without having to do any kind of retuning or recoding. I hope this video was useful to you guys. It turns out not that many people know that you can swap Megatronics between gearboxes and hopefully with this info out there, it'll make doing things with your Falcon more accessible to more people. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, leave me a comment, things like that, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.